How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo, and AJA. Barrett, tell me what your film is about. A young Iranian girl who is really obsessed about uh, studying the, the night sky. She, uh, she wants to become an astronaut. She made a promise to her father when, she, when he died. What were some of the things that were standing in her way? What she's doing, running out in the night together with the boys, you really shouldn't do that in Iran. What could have been some of the serious consequences of her going out at night with, with boys? Well, you have the see a scene in a film where the uncle is actually tre threatening to, to kill her. But he's also really trying to point out the red line for her and saying, listen, you shouldn't push enough. I don't know how big a percentage of the world's population end up in space. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, is she's not just a dreamer, but she's really acting on her dream. She's like, you know, what do you call this, the cork of a wine bottle. You put it in water and, you know, it pumps <laughs> up again. And, uh, and in that way, she really dares to confront, uh, you know, even this, you know, the bureaucratics or the system. How did you meet Sepeda? Just by coincidence, happened to hear about astronomy festival that was taking place. This, so I went there, and, and just one night I saw this, you know, tiny girl coming with this big telescope. <laughs> I think I, I earned that trust very fast uh, because um, I didn't have a hidden agenda. Because it's a big responsibility, like also for the mother, to allow me to film her daughter. Tibet is a character, the main character, but I, I was interested in the mother too, as why she would have this split screen behavior towards her daughter in one way, loving her and wanting the best, on the other hand, really trying to stop her. I didn't have to have anybody escorting me. I was working mm -hmm. quite freely. But of course, you know, the, the intelligence service, are, they're watching. You might not experience it, you know, physically. No, there's nobody standing behind you, but you know that's how it is. You know, every time I finish the shooting, I would not know if that would be the last time. And every time leaving Iran, I would make sure to have a disc hidden somewhere. Uh -huh. if, because, you know, should, would I be able to take the footage out of Iran? Mm -hmm. My Iranian co-producer was arrested during the shooting also. Oh my goodness. And, um, and we didn't know how, you know, what, what would happen to us. Because it's more, it's also like a struggle between the, the grey daily life and the beauty of the, you know, it's, her struggle is going on between you know the sky and the earth. So I needed that in the film also. But the deep sky, it, it adds to a getting an understanding of, of her interior, you know, with being so obsessed about the universe and the grandness of the universe and you know, life possibilities, you know, we're just tiny small people and we have this big universe. I mean, how should I restrict myself? Um, next is to make film about men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I've started a film project in Beirut, actually, about uh, Arabic men searching for love. Oh, very interesting. Well, we'll look forward to that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.